So out at Google I.O., Phil wandered over to uh, HP's booth to take a look at what they were showing off. And here we have the HP PhotoSmart Premium. Actually, the technical branding for it is the... It's not awesome. The HP PhotoSmart Premium Touch Smart Web All-in-One Printer. Uh, hopefully, when HP gets around to making WebOS printers, it will... Uh, work a little bit more cleanly than this but it's a uh, it's got a capacitive touch screen it came out in uh, June of 09 and they actually have got all sorts of apps available for it via their ePrint center and these are apps that let you do cool things like a uh, cube craft you know so you print out uh, specifically formatted pages to make little robots uh, they've got a Google Maps app they've got a Shrek app um, so on this capacitive touch screen, you can uh, you can do stuff like here uh, we're looking at USA Today and when it finally connects to the internet, it uh, gives you uh, specially formatted pages to uh, you know be able to print stuff out quickly. Um, in addition to all this, you know there's a calendar app. There's a bunch of apps. We'll put a link in the post here about uh, everything that works on this uh, embedded Linux printer. Um, on top of that, um, you know they've they've got a full on little app store which you can browse. And uh, just in general, uh, it's clear that uh, HP is thinking big about uh, these kinds of devices. And you can kind of see, you know, how a device like this would probably do better with, uh, with something like WebOS, uh, simply because they would be able to get apps out more quickly. You know, they've got a developer program for this already uh, the, um, at their uh, ePrint center, and there's an SDK and so on and so forth. But... You know, there obviously hasn't been a whole lot of take up on it because at the end of the day, it is just a printer, right? Um, but uh, if, you know, developers would want to make stuff for other devices and then they would happen to work on a printer like this, it's actually could be potentially a little bit interesting. Obviously, we're uh, more excited by the idea of a tablet uh, than we are of this. But here's the, uh, the ePrint Center. You can see it right here. Um, so you can you know, find stuff here, load it on your printer. It's, uh, it's not a terrible setup, but uh, you can see why, um, you know, it could use more elegance, and that's what WebOS would bring to it. So there you go. Thanks, Phil.